G'day, well it's term two, so our school year runs from the end of January to the beginning of December. So this is term two here in Queensland and that means that we're back to doing homework, we're back to washing school uniforms every night and of course the school lunch boxes. My job today is to make some school snacks that I can keep in the freezer so that when the kids are making their school lunches then they can just grab them out, it's all really convenient for them. Now I've checked out my pantry, got the ingredients out that I had here at home and I've also just run to the shop and got a few extra things. So I'm going to make some air fryer pizza bites which are really simple to make and some little pillows so that's a sweet snack that you can keep in the freezer as well. So I'm going to talk you through the recipe as I make them. So welcome into my home, come on into my kitchen and let's go cook some air fryer snacks for the kids' school lunch boxes. Let's start first with the ingredients for the pizza bites. Now these are so easy to make. I'm using some bake at home dinner rolls because I had a good supply in my freezer. But you could use any small bread roll or muffin. I'm using some white ones and some multi-grain ones. If the rolls have been in your freezer, just make sure you defrost them first. Now get some sauce. I'm using pizza sauce because it already has the onion, garlic and herbs in it and that adds a lot of extra flavour. But you can certainly substitute other sauces just like a plain tomato sauce or pasta sauce or even barbecue. I need some parsley so let's go outside to my new planter boxes and we will get some beautiful fresh parsley straight from the garden. Now you're going to need some ham, but again, you could use any other meat that you like. You could put some bacon on this, you could use some chicken, uh, anything that you've got in your fridge. But I have just gone with some fresh deli ham. Now I am just using a bag of mozzarella cheese, but again, you can use any cheese that you prefer. So if you like plain cheddar or a tasty cheddar, that would work beautifully. You could also use a pizza blend cheese. Anything that's pre-grated will save you some time. If you are on a real tight budget, just get a small block of a generic brand cheese and grate it yourself. Now we are going to start by slicing our bread rolls. We're going to do that lengthways, just in half, and then lay them all out ready to top them. You can leave the bread rolls plain or like me you can spread a little bit of butter over them just to give them that extra crisp when they go into the air fryer or if you don't want to use butter you could just drizzle a little bit of olive oil over the top of them. Then we are going to add our pizza sauce. So I squirt just a little bit on each bread roll and then I use the back of a spoon to spread it out. Whatever meat you decided to use as your topping today, you're going to want to dice that. Now I'm just using the ham so I'm cutting it into tiny little pieces and then I'm going to put it on all the tops of the bread rolls. Once that is done, it is time to add your cheese. Now, depending on your personal taste, you can put just a little bit on there, or if you like it really cheesy and melty, then you can be as generous as you like. Now you can add any seasoning. So put some salt and pepper on there. You might have a nice Italian herb that you might like to sprinkle on there. But today I'm just going to use the parsley from the garden. I've given it a wash and I've chopped it up finely and now I'm going to sprinkle it over all the bread rolls. Now 
You can place them directly into your air fryer drawer, but if you want to save on a little bit of cleaning up later on, just put a sheet of baking paper down in there first. Now I've set it to air fry at 170 degrees, and I'm going to cook these for about seven to eight minutes. Now the cheese will melt quickly, so make sure you keep a careful watch on them so that they don't burn. When they have finished cooking, open up the fryer drawer and be very careful when you're pulling them out, they will be hot. You're going to want to put them onto a cooling rack. Now your house is going to smell delicious when these come out and the kids are probably going to want some straight away. So I always keep a few out just so that they can have a quick snack when I'm making these. But all the other ones I will put into a bag once they have completely cooled down. Make sure you label it and then they can go into the freezer. The air fryer pizza bites are fantastic for lunch boxes. So I put three of them into a small container for my kids lunches. Or you could also bag them. You can pull them straight out of the freezer and put them into the lunch box and they will be completely defrosted by lunchtime. Next we're going to make a little sweet snack for the lunch boxes and we call them pillows. Now the ingredients are very simple, it's just some pastry and a filling. Now you can use any pastry. Today I'm using some short crust pastry because that's what I had in my freezer, but you could also use some phyllo pastry or some puff pastry. As for the fillings, you can use anything. This is your moment to get really creative and try different things inside the pastry. So today I'm just using Mars bars, which is just chocolate and caramel, which is always a winner, but you can try lots of different things. So what about using some fruit? You could use some pie apples or anything that's in season that you might have a surplus of and that maybe if you've stewed it to put into your freezer, you could put a little bit of that in there and add some chocolate to it. You could put some choc hazelnut spread or what about some peanut paste and some choc chips. Any of your favorites can go in there. You could even add some marshmallows and then when they've melted, you'll get a really gooey sweet center to these little pillows. So once your pastry has softened, you can cut it into small strips. Now I get about eight to a sheet. And because sometimes these might leak out the side, especially if they're very full, you might want to put some baking paper down in your air fryer. So for each Mars bar, I cut them in half and I sort of squashed it down a little bit so that they would be a bit flatter. And then you just fold the pastry over and you seal down the edges, just push them together gently. And then I used a fork just to make a pretty pattern around the edge and to secure the edges. You could also twist them up into a little dumpling shape. That would also work really well. Now I put mine straight into the air fryer and I don't add anything extra to mine. But if you want to make them a little bit browner or a little bit crispier on the outside, you can definitely add some melted butter or some spray oil. 
These are so easy and fun to make, even little hands can help. Now I baked mine on air fry at 180 degrees for about six minutes. Now once you have bagged and labelled them, you can pop them into your freezer. And just like the pizza bites, you can pull them directly out of your freezer. There's no need to defrost them before putting them into the lunchbox. They will be nice and tasty and ready to eat by lunchtime if you just put them straight into your kids' lunchboxes. So that was heaps of fun. Thanks for cooking these things with me today. And stay tuned because I'm gonna have lots more recipes and cooking videos coming up. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any videos. I thoroughly enjoyed having you with me today. Thanks for watching. God bless.